Welcome back to another exciting video. In this video, we're going to look at how you can create your own custom sorting conditions for the table sort function. So you can sort your tables in any way that you like. Let's find out. So we're working with a very simple table today. And just to see how table sort works, let's first start with an operation that most people will know. Let's say we want to sort our table by the season. You will click on the season on the drop down and sort ascending allows you to do that. This uses the table sort function that references the previous table name, then creates a list of lists and the inner list specifies a column name and how to order it. If you then specify another column, for example, the average temperature, I can do that in a descending way. And you will find that the user interface generates the code for you. So you'll see that there is an outer list, which is with the outer curly brackets here. And you find an inner list, two of them actually, for one for the first column and one for the second column. Now that's easy enough. Okay. Now, what if we want to have a sorting condition that's a little bit different than sorting ascending or descending? That's a custom condition that we can look at. So let's remove this again and look at for example, sorting the month column. If I would try to sort this in an ascending way, the problem is it's doing that alphabetically and not in the order that the months appear in a year. So what could you normally do? Most people would say, I'm going to create an additional column and an easy trick to get your sorting done would be to concatenate the month name together with the year. And I'll have a sorting column. So what this first does is it creates us a, another string. Now we cannot sort this because still it's text. So the same problem appears. But what you could then do, so if I grab the code here again, I could say date from, close my brackets. And then instead of showing just the, the textual representation, it actually has dates now. And the dates you could sort. And then of course everything is sorted. And while this is perfectly valid, I'm, I want to actually, the purpose of my video is to teach you some of how to use the table sort function. So we're going to use this logic, but put it elsewhere. How can we do such? We're going to copy this piece of code that grabs the date from our concatenated month year combination. Okay. Then I'm going to delete this and delete this. So we're back at the start. Now, if you want to make a custom condition, let the user interface generate the code for you first. So what we're going to do is simply go to month, sort it ascending, and you'll end up with the code over here. Now, the easiest way to start with a single condition is just to remove the second argument completely. And then you can start a function definition. So if I paste this, we're still going to get an error because there is no function definition here. But if you add the each word here, that's the start of a function. Now, if you click OK, you actually find that all of our values are now already sorted because instead of sorting it ascending, it's now by default saying, I find that each of these values can be turned into a date. After doing that, I'm going to sort it ascending by default. OK, Rick, that's all nice and good. But what if I wanted to do this in a descending way? That's also possible, of course. How would you do such? Now, we're going to have to specify what order to uh, uh, what order we should sort this in. And you can do that by wrapping the entire function argument here into a list. First of all, I'm going to confirm that this works. But you can within that list start a second argument and say order descending. There we go. So that's great. But then you might wonder, what if we need multiple arguments here? Now, I sometimes forget the syntax for that as well. That's one of the reasons why I created Power Query How. So if I go to the browser and you would go to powercreate.how slash table sort, you can scroll down and I show some examples here, but I also show that if you want custom sorting conditions, you can just simply add this as a list, add a comma, and then add another item that you need. So if we now first sorted it in the ascending way, and for some reason, we also want to sort the holiday focus column, we can then say holiday focus. 
and then order a sending and at least ooh, let me see so i might miss my curly bracket here and then at least the code will work and if you need some examples of this i just encourage you to check out power Query how and you'll know how with this i hope i inspired you to also work with a custom condition it's a little bit more custom m but i think it's going to make uh, it helpful to have not as many steps in your table okay that was today's trick I know that only some of you have subscribed to the channel and it would help me enormously if you like this that you did. So I invite you to subscribe and then I hope to see you next time.